Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to do mental math sums and subtraction worksheet in class 4. We know that subtraction is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. I am going to teach you simple tips and tricks to do sums very quickly mentally and thereby enhance your mathematical calculations. Let us go into the details of this video now. We know that mental math sums do not involve pen and paper. So let us learn the tips and tricks to do mental math sums very quickly and easily. First topic that we are going to see is to subtract a number by 17, you will have to first subtract it by 20 and then add 3. The other topic that we are going to see is to subtract a number by 18, you will have to subtract it by 20 and then add 2. Do you understand what we are doing here? To subtract a number by 17, I am first looking at the multiple of 10 which is closest to 17. The multiple of 10 which is closest to 17 is 20. Subtracting by multiples of 10 is always easier. So what I am going to do is first subtract the number by 20 and then add 3. Let us see that with an example. 4566 minus 17 is equal to what? First, let us subtract 4566 minus 20, which is easier to do. We know that it is 4546. Now, when you add 3, what happens? It is like equivalent to subtracting 4566 minus 17. What is 4546 plus 3? 4549. So, the answer for 4566 minus 17 is equal to 4549. Let us see this for an example for subtraction by 80. Then you will be able to understand the concept better. Which is the multiple of 10 closest to 18? It is 20 again. To subtract a number by 18, first you will have to subtract it by 20 and then add 2 which will be equivalent to subtracting it by 80. So, 6,942 minus 18 is equal to what? First, subtract 6,942 minus 20, which is quick and easy to do. 6,922. Now, add 6,922 plus 2, which will give you 6,924. So, the answer for 6,942 minus 18 is equal to 6,924. See how quickly we did this calculation? without the help of regrouping or borrowing concepts. Let us do some more examples and new concepts in mental math. To subtract a number by 19, what you will do? The closest multiple of 10 is 20 again, so you subtract it by 20 and then add 1. We are going to see two examples for this concept. First example is 3985 minus 19 is equal to dash. So, 3985 minus 20 is quick and easy to do. The answer will be 3965. Now, add 3965 plus 1, which is 3966. So, you quickly got the answer for 3985 minus 19 to be 3966. Let us take the example of a 5 digit number now. 17635 minus 19 is equal to what? The same procedure applies here also. First, subtract the number by 20. 17,635 minus 20 will give you 17,615. Now, add 17,615 plus 1, which will give you 17,660. So, the answer for 17,635 minus 19 is equal to 17,660. The next concept that we are going to see is to subtract a number by 22. This is a little different. See, the closest multiple of 10 to 22 is 20. So, what we are going to do? Subtract the number by 20 and then subtract it by 2. In the previous example, when it was 19 or 18, what we did? We took the closest multiple of 10 which is 20, subtracted it by 20 and then added 1 if we had to subtract by 90. But here we are going to subtract by 22 which is closer to 20. 
So what you're going to do is first subtract the number by 20 and then subtract it by 2 again which will be equivalent to subtracting the number by 22. Let us see with an example. 7441 minus 22 is equal to what? First subtract the number by 20. 7441 minus 20 will give you 7421 which is quick and easy. Next subtract 7421 minus 2 which is also easy. We know it is 7419. So you got the answer for 7441 minus 22 to be 7490. Hope you understood how we are doing the calculation. Let us take the example of a 5 digit number now. 89,145 minus 23 is equal to what? So in this case what it is the nearest multiple of 10 to 23 is 20. So what we are going to do is first subtract the number by 20 and then subtract it by 3 because we have to totally subtract the number by 23. So first subtract the number by 20. 89,145 minus 20 will give you 89,125. Next subtract 89,125 minus 3 which will give you 89,122. So the answer for 89,145 minus 23 is equal to 89,122. See how quickly we have done these sums without the use of regrouping or borrowing. It is very essential to teach children these concepts because as they move into higher classes, they can quick and easily do all the sums with mental calculations. Next, to subtract a number by 32, what you should do? You have to subtract it by 30 and then subtract it by 2. So, 56,239 minus 32 is equal to what? 56,239 minus 30 is easy to do, which will give you the answer. 56,209. Next, subtract 56,209 minus 2, which will give you 56,207. So, the answer for 56,239 minus 32 is equal to 56,207. Next, see, you will see the difference very easily and understand it here. Now, we are going to subtract the number by 39. So, what you have to do? The closest multiple is 40, so you first subtract it by 40 and then add 1. I am doing these two concepts side by side so you can understand the difference very clearly. Now, 90,078 minus 39 is equal to what? First subtract 90,078 minus 40, which will give you 90,038, which is very quick and easy to do. Now, add 90,038 plus 1, which will give you 90,039. So, the answer for 90,078 minus 39 is equal to 90,039. So, the simple concept is you have to see the multiple of 10 which is closest to the number that you are going to subtract by and do the calculations accordingly. Next, to subtract a number by 43, subtract it by 40 and then subtract it by 3. 2,052 minus 43 is equal to what? First, 2052 minus 40 is equal to 2012. Next, 2012 minus 3 is equal to 2009. So, quickly we have arrived at the answer. 2052 minus 43 is equal to 2009. Next thing that we are going to do is to subtract a number by 48. Subtract the number by 50 and then add 2. So, 63,975 minus 48 is equal to what? 63,975 minus 50 is easier to do, which will give you 63,925. Now, 63,925 plus 2 will give you the answer 63,927. So, the answer for 63,975 minus 48 is equal to very quickly arrived at to be 63,927. So, let us test our learning now. 18,358 minus 47. How will you do? So, you have to do 18,358 minus 50 plus 3, which will give you the answer 18,311. Next, 39,263 minus 28. What will you do? 39,263 minus 30 plus 2. You'll have to do this calculation mentally and you'll arrive at the answer 39,235. Next, 21,875 minus 32. 
quickly do it. 21,875 minus 30 minus 2. So the answer will be 21,843. Dear viewers, hope you understood and enjoyed doing the mental math sums. Next we are going to do the worksheet sums. So stay with me till the end of this video. 6,890 minus 0 is 0, 6,890, 6,891 or 6,889. What is the answer? 6,890. Next, 72,328 minus 72,328 is 0, 72,328, 1 or 72,320. What is the correct answer? 0 is the correct answer. Next, if 48,777 minus 23,666 is equal to 25,111, which of the following is true? We see that both 2 and 3, which is 25,111 plus 23,666 is equal to 48,777 is correct. Also, 48,777 minus 25,111 is equal to 23,666 is also correct. So, both 2 and 3 are correct. Next question. 10,000 minus 9,999 is 0, 11, 1, 90,000. Which is the correct answer? 1 is the correct answer. 78,329 minus 10,000 is 68,329, 78,229, 78,000 or 78,390. Correct answer is 68,329. Dear viewers, I have covered this concept of 1, 10, 100,000 and 10,000 more than and less than a number in a separate video. Link to that video is also given below in the description box and also in the i-card section. 21,891 minus 1,000 is? What is the correct answer? 20,891. The next worksheet sum we are going to do is fill in the missing numbers and do the subtraction. So begin from 1's place, 6 minus 3 is 3. We know that 11 minus 3 is 8, so borrow. You will get 11 minus 3 is 8 in the 10's place. In 100's place, 8 minus 1 is 7. 6 minus 5 is 1. And then 8 minus 5 is 3. So the answer is 31,783. And you have filled in the missing numbers. Do the sum quickly and check the answer. Did you do it and get the answer to be 42,782? With that, we complete the worksheet sums and these are all the learning topics in class 4 under subtraction of which I have called, covered all these topics in separate videos and in this video we saw mental math and subtraction worksheet. In my upcoming videos, I will be dealing with the topic of multiplication next. Links to all the related videos are given below in the description box or you may also click on the in-screen video which is a playlist containing all the videos for class 4 subtraction. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the topics on multiplication. Give a thumbs up if you like the video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.